speak the language of love and love in me. And it can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it strong. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I've ever loved. And I'm stuck on your heart. I hang on every word you say. Tear us apart. Baby, I would rather be dead. You know what I see? It started every night and every day. In your eyes, I get lost, I get washed away. Just as long as I'm here in your arms, I can be in no better place. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I've ever loved. And I'm stuck on your heart. I ain't on every word you say. Tear us apart. Baby, I'd rather be dead. Oh, be sunny. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we gather here today to celebrate the union of two extraordinary people, Kate and Tom. At this time, I would like for you two to just take a minute to look at each other, look around you, soak in the love, and all your family and friends that are here to celebrate you today. As we stand on the threshold of your journey together, I want to take a moment to reflect the symbolism of the wedding rings you're about to exchange. Often, at a wedding, we hear officiants speak of wedding rings. They speak about how it has no beginning and no end, and how that relates to marriage. We all know that your rings had a beginning. They don't just magically appear. I'm nervous. <laughs> this is my first time, so I mean. <laughs> Kate, Tom, you've worked at this. You've built this relationship. You've chosen love day after day, week after week, and year after year. Wedding rings are similar. The materials they're made from had to be mined, molded, and polished. And artists carefully, thoughtfully, and intentionally designed your rings, transforming raw elements into beautiful symbols of your commitment. This is a process of making something remarkable where once there was nothing. This mirrors your journey of love quite nicely. Your relationship also started from humble beginnings and was shaped by two imperfect beings into something beautiful and remarkable over time. When you look at your rings throughout your years together, through all the seasons of your life, and the inevitable highs and lows, let them serve as reminders. Be reminded of how fortunate you are, not to have only, not only to have found each other, but to also have built the kind of relationship you have today. The beauty of your rings, like your love, isn't incidental. It's the result of time, effort, and intention. And so as you place these rings on each other's fingers on your wedding day, you affirm that the same remains true for your life, your love, and your marriage. Um, Sasha Jones, Kate's longtime friend, is going to come join us to read a excerpt from The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. Okay, I'm just going to leave it here. Um, really quick, just to give a bit of context. So, in this book, People in the town come to the prophet and they ask him to talk about different topics. So um, they come and they ask the prophet about marriage. <sighs> then Amitra spoke again and said, And what of marriage, master? And he answered, saying, You are born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. I, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the wings of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. 
fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are low, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. All right, are we ready to make this official? <laughs> All right. It's about time. I mean, seven years. <laughs> I, Kate, take you, Tom, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, in health, to love and to cherish, so that to us part. Hi, Tom. Take you, Kate, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse. For richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, so that we must be. Kate and Tom, you have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of your loved ones have declared your love and commitment to each other. By the power vested in me by the internet and the state of Michigan, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife, and it is truly about damn time. <laughs> Kiss already. It's my honor and privilege to present to you all Mr. and Mrs. Kelly. When the road is long, when you're feeling low, with every breath, don't forget how far you've come. When it's late at night, when you're all alone, I'll lift you up, I could be your helium. Your life will never be the same Hey there champion, bet you're gonna win this fight And I'm here for you to go and bet right by your side Sometimes you can lose it all Uh, what is closer to your mouth? 
Thank you for your eternal sarcasm, <laughs> your witty wittiness, your amazing Welshire accent. <laughs>